I'm here again. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're bringing you a whole weekend in the Tug Trash household. Yesterday, me and Crystal went and put some of our crab traps in the water with the hopes of catching some blue crabs. Then we went gigging last night. Now we got Liam, we got Bianca, and we got Crystal. We're going to pull our traps and do a little fishing. We're gonna bring it all home tonight and cook up something delicious for y'all. What's up guys, you ready for some crabbing? We got the traps here. We're gonna go drop some traps in the ICW here in St. Augustine, Florida. But uh, we're wanting blue crabs. We'll take stone crabs. <laughs> but I think the blue crabs, I think the water's warm enough now, they're gonna be out and about. We're gonna put them in today and we're gonna pull them tomorrow and hopefully we got crab for dinner. For bait. Sardines. What what'd you say? Sardini weenies? Sardini weenies. <laughs> so I like sardines. They're easy to grab. I didn't have time to net any bait today. And uh we're gonna drop some traps here. So like I said, I did not have time to net bait today. Even though Crystal did get a new cast net, uh, we have frozen sardines. You guys can pick those up at any bait shop and uh, they're like about 15 bucks a box or something like that. How many come in a box? I have no idea, but they're five pounds. And we are idling up into a shallow flat where we caught some blue crabs this time of year, last year. The water's warming up, water's 65, almost 66 degrees. So the crabs are gonna be coming out from their winter hibernation and they're gonna be hungry like we are. Good side. Go. Marking that spot. There we go. Now, I was just telling Crystal, you only need like maybe three, four sardines per trap. No need to really load them up. There's something in the bushes. There's That's treasure. A kayak. It's treasure. We found a kayak. Okay. Hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's put this other trap in the water. Over here or back that way? Up here. It's treasure. We can add it to the collection of other treasure we have at the house. It's junk. yard art. <laughs> we just cleaned the yard all up. I'll nice. show you some pictures. We thought we were going to buy a different house and sell our house. We were like getting it ready and they didn't take our offer. But so now the house doesn't look like how it usually looks. The fish camp, it looks kind of presentable. It's fancy. Ooh la la. <laughs> It'll only take me a week to mess it back up. I think right here would be fine. I don't Unless want to you be wanna... right in the middle of this panel though. Well, don't people come out of here? Nobody's coming out of here in a mega yacht, babe. They'll be okay. Ow! She went quick. We've spotted something in the mangroves. Looks like a kayak to me. We're gonna go check it out. Trolling motor <laughs> engaged on the kayak rescue. Now we have an hour until high tide. Let's see if we can get up here. It's a red kayak. I think it's orange. Orange. It's a sled. Is it tied to that tree? I don't know what it is. Snow snowmaster. It's a snowmobile sled. Why is there a snowmobile sled out here? I don't know, can we use it for snow? Could use it for like dragging deer. Like a deer sled. Yeah, should we grab it? I mean. I mean, it's trash, we should get it anyways. It's Earth Day is right around the corner. Right. Do your part. 
We thought it was a kayak. Save the planet. Dur, dur, dur. It wasn't a kayak. Captain Planet. He's, he's my hero. hero. <laughs> I think it is not serving a purpose in the mangroves. Therefore, we should retrieve it and help clean up the estuary. I'm going to use it for estuary. a deer drag. Do it. No, it's just stuck in the mangroves. This rope is tied around the thing. Like I wonder if they were using it like tow behind a boat or something. Here, give me the camera. It says it's a Snowmaster Snow Scoops. Maybe some of my up north people will know what that is, but I'm pretty sure you tow it behind like a snowmobile in the snow, put gear on it's it. It's definitely waterlogged. It's got a bunch of water in it. Really? Yeah, but that's okay. We can dry it out in the yard. All right. Yard art. Junk for the yard. It's treasure. Oh, it's got a wheel. Weird. That's really cool. It was probably for someone's dock or something like that. Oh, maybe. I say we throw it away. Trash. That's the last one, folks. We're going to get a chicken quesadilla. Yes, my favorite. Yeet. You want me to close that door? It'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Fish gonna die tonight. You excited? Me? I'm excited. I haven't been gigging in a while. Not uh -uh. successfully. Or maybe a month ago, but. I'm excited. I got my headlamp on. Ooh, look at my hairdo with this thing on. Yeah. That's cool. Is good? I guess I should wear a hat. Yeah, that's usually how that works. <laughs> All right, babe, whenever you're ready. You gotta call me a little bit closer. Just remember, he's kind of deep. Get straight up and down over his head. Did Ooh, I get him? You got him. <laughs> That's a good one. Come on up with him. That's oh. a 20-incher. Oh. All right. He had just settled in. Like he was still yeah. kind of flopping. That's a good one. He's probably nice. 20 inches. Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Finally got the stink off the boat. So, all right, camera's on, babe. Go ahead. That's a huge flounder. Babe. Okay. I need you to, all right, you got him good. Just bring him right up onto the deck of this boat. That's a huge flounder, babe. Huge. Woo. Huge. <laughs> that is oh my an, gosh. an absolute monster, ah. folks. <laughs> <laughs> Second of the night. You got it compared to your shoe. You hit him just right, but geez, okay. you scared me when you did it. Why? Oh, shoot. You, you went, like, you can get a lot closer to him with the gig. Before I. Yeah. Oh, I'm I didn't want to spook him. I was scared I'd spook Go ahead, him. That's... Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Like, he is a fit. That's probably your biggest one ever. I, for sure, there's no doubt. That is amazing. Should I measure it real quick? Yeah. Just like rough measure. 
What's that? 20. This is 24, 22 so like inches. 22. He looks bigger than that. I think he probably is. That thing is a monster. Oh, he barely fits in the cooler. Look at that. <laughs> He's so big. There you go. Okay, you can get the next one. I'm done. Come on. Just one, one hard. Well, he, I. I can't help you. There we go. Nice work, These babe. New sharp. Things. I just turned on my my new light too. I'm like, I'm gonna turn this light on. Whew. Okay. Now we're on the way to the box. Good job, All babe. Right. Now we're in business. Give me a fist pump. That was less than stellar, but we got a big fish, so. Sometimes it's about quality and not quantity. No. It doesn't always have to be a massacre. It always does. <laughs> but we're gonna pull our crab traps tomorrow. And I think with the flounder we got and the crabs that we hopefully get, it's gonna make a fine meal. We got. That's a big one, babe. It's huge. Is it? Look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. This is. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm choking. Please don't die. This is the biggest flounder I could ever get. Like, it's a pretty good I one. I mean, it's wide as it is long, I feel like, almost. like. It's a good one. I mean, it's like. He's thick, boy. That's a good one. All right. Let's Take some picture. pictures. Okay. All right, then we're going to go pull crab traps. Okay. This time of year, folks, in the ICW around St. Augustine, if you're trying to catch blue crabs, they're gonna be up shallow in general. Um, if you're trying to catch stone crabs, they're gonna be in the deeper holes. That's a little pro tip for y'all, rather than just putting your traps in my spots. <laughs> Ivy. What do you got? One blue crab. Oh, we have a um, bunch of croakers. Nice, that's good, babe. We have a calico crab. Oh, yeah. That's very cool. So, a little calico. Oh, I love it. Nice blue crab and four croakers for bait. Have you ever heard of like calico cats? No. It's because they have a certain pattern. Because of their pattern that they call them calico. There's a crab. There's our crab. Where are we putting them? Ah. Woo! <laughs> That'll eat. We're They're gonna just put them in this back well here. Perfect. Now I have an unpopular opinion, but I like blue crabs more than I like my stone crabs. I do too. Shady back there, they'll be fine. I also like blue crabs more than I like stone crabs. However, I am a river crab kind of girl. For sure. Right. These will eat good though. Have we had them? Have I had them before? Yes. Oh. We'll free the croakers. Yeah. I mean, we just don't have a good way to keep them alive right they now. Yeah. Free the croakers. And there's plenty of good bait in there still. 24 hour soak? That's not bad. No. Wait, do those pinch? They do. Look at his face. What do you think? I think there's going to be a stone crab and a blue crab. Go ahead. Use your big muscles. Cat Nothing but oh, catfish. catfish. You don't want to touch the catfish. Here. We'll just let them out and put the trap back down. That's you got it, B? Nope. She got. Oh, what did I say? Oh man, that's, that's a, a stone crab. big chunk. How many? There's like five of them in there. <laughs> yes. And they're huge. Oh, one has eggs. Oh, yeah, there's an egger in there. But. That's amazing because I'm pretty sure that one is eggs with no claws. This is a 24 hour soak, y'all. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five. Five stone crabs in there. And the mama with eggs, yeah. she doesn't have claws, but look at her thriving. Yeah. Oh, they live fine. Stone crabs live fine, missing both claws. And a cabbage. It's hard for people to wrap their mind around, but it's true. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Want to get that 
female with eggs out. There's two females with eggs in here. I want to get them out first. See that? That's the future. Notice she's missing both claws, growing them back, living her best life. People are like, oh, they can't defend themselves. It's just not true. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a couple of eggers in here. Yeah. yeah. Hold it's on. Springtime. Here's another female with eggs and claws. We're gonna let her go. I don't know why the eggs on this one are a different color. I know. That's um, what I was just thinking. Those are brown. But let her, go. let her go for next year. Make more. Look at big chungus right here. <laughs> here, Liam. Look at this Oof. thing. How about that, y'all? That's crazy, huh? Liam, nip, nip that claw right there for me. There? Right there. Pitch. There we go. That's a good claw right there. That's a huge one. I need that measure. The new one? Ow, no. Oh, okay. That's for blue crabs. Oh, sorry. Second claw is good on that crab. We'll go ahead. Same thing. You're putting a little pressure. He just nips. Yeah, squeeze hard. Go ahead. There you go. And it releases its claws. That one will go. Grow up, grow new claws for us for next year. This is another one that is surviving with no claws all the time. All day, every day. Uh, not again. Uh, Look at that. <laughs> Last but not least. So, I know that's a good claw. Go ahead and get this one here. There. There we go. Got that claw. And we'll measure this one. It's a legal claw. Go ahead. Boom. Not too bad. How's the bait on that trap? Four nice claws. Plenty of bait left because they were only in the water overnight. And this will go back in. And I'll be gone a week, but in a week, I bet that's loaded up. Uh-oh, I see something. There's fish in it. it. Oh, yeah. Move mom. A bunch of fish. Pin fish trap. Oh, I see two blue crabs. Two. Nice. This is our blue crab. Woo! Hey, I wish we was going offshore. Look at all those pin fish. Uh-huh. We've got one, <laughs> two, three, four blue crabs. And oh. a pile of pin fish. A mess of pin fish. Come on. Yeah. Alright, here, watch out. Yeah. They're fighting in there. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Here, grab me a couple pinfish. I'll put them in the in the bait hole. I'm not sticking my hand in there. What? I'm not We're, gonna stick my hand in there. We're doing alright. You're crazy. Gay Barrington, I got a pro tip for you. When you put your traps in the water, you gotta close them. That way the crabs stay in. All right, Liam is okay, coming Liam. up. Starboard side. Oh, it's so shallow. Can you see the trap? Got it? Yeah. Something in there. What Cat, do we got? Catfish. Well, well, Couple blue yeah. crabs. Oh, one night so Bow, bow, and five. 24 hours. No, there's five. five. Really? Yep. Yeah, one's one, two, on top of the other. Two, four, five. Oh, are they do are they doing something? Hey, so that is, <laughs> yeah. So what that male crab is actually doing, I'll grab it in a second, is he grabs onto that female and when she's getting ready to shed, and that's when they actually mate is right after the female shed. So somehow they can tell, and she'll be like, hey, protect me. So he protects her till she sheds and then right after they uh after she sheds they mate and make more blue crabs okay. nice. so <laughs> here we go right into there then we're some angry crabs and what we'll do is before we get ready to clean them we'll put some ice on them and just slow their roll a little bit Free bait. 
perfect. Yeah. Let's see, is it orange or red? I think it's red. Oh, red. I had to eat a bunch, of, a bunch of crabs in there. It's a pile. Woo! We got one, two, two three, and a bunch three. more pinfish. We're doing good. I knew the blue awesome. crabs would be back here. I could smell them. Uh, I could yeah. smell them. I see one. I see two. I see three. Oh, I see four. I see a flounder. Oh, my goodness. It's loaded. A flounder, babe. How many flounders? Wow. How many crabs are in there? Six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? And a flounder. You just grab them right there by that back fin real quick. They can't get you. So, come on, dude. This was a good one. Try it, Lane. All right, so we're loaded yeah. up. We got four stone crab claws and I don't even know a pile of blue crabs in here. But I think we're going to go home and stuff some flounder. What do you think? Yes. Stuffed flounder? It's going to be good. I've got a couple of crazy kids over there washing my boat, but I'm not complaining. And <laughs> we've got this jumbo flounder that we gigged last night. Crystal got it. What do you say it was 23? 23, I think, was the 23, final measurement. big fat flounder. And today we went out and got a cooler full of blue crabs. Mm, they're still a little spicy. Yeah, they're chilling out on ice. <laughs> they're gonna go to sleep. So, you know, flounder and blue crabs go together. We're gonna stuff this big flounder with all that crab meat. And I'm gonna show you guys how to debone one of these bad boys for stuffing where there won't be any bones left in it. So, starting out, you got to take all the scales off. And that goes exactly how you think it would go. Take a scaler or spoon or back of a knife or something and just start scraping. Flip her over. Look how it's got cool uh, pattering on the white side of his tail. All right, y'all, so descaled the whole thing and I did go ahead and gut and clean all the um, gills out. It was a little bit graphic for YouTube. I don't know if they would like it or not, so I'm just not gonna put it in the video. Now, usually when I do this, I come right here and cut and take the head off. But for YouTube and presentation and all that, I'm gonna try to leave the head on and see how it works out. So you're feeling for where the meat starts right here, coming just down like that. Boom, and then come on the top and there's like a ridge right down the back of a flounder. And we're just coming in there and running our knife straight down, right? So now you got that cut and that cut. Then you're gonna take your knife, take that tip, feel the skeleton, and just push out, just like that. Get your thumb in there and push on out. Now, I don't want to push all the way through. So when I'm getting out towards those fins, I'm slowing down and not pushing quite as hard. Uh, there's a little bone right there you gotta pop through and just ride that skeleton down. Just like that. They're having fun over there, I think. <laughs> to be young again. Oh, I know. So, I'm not going all the way, but I'm going close. No. All right. Pick a pocket. On the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just like so. Side's a little bit easier. Toadfish folder. This is my favorite fillet knife. They have a fixed blade if you're 
dead set on a fixed blade. I like the folder um, for the safety factor. And it also doesn't bang around and get dulled up. So when it's closed, it protects your edge. So now look at that. Now we could stuff this flounder just like it is right now. But I want to go one step forward and I want to take these skeleton bones out right here. So when you're eating, you go right through and get the meat from the other side. This is a part, usually, like I said, I would cut everything off right here, but I want to, I want to eat all this delicious head meat on this big flounder, kind of channeling my inner Reed the fishmonger, a buddy of mine who is a fishmonger down in South Florida. And he kind of specializes in getting the little bits of a fish that not everybody eats. Keep coming through like that. And all I'm doing is working the bottom edge of these shears underneath those bones and coming out like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna stick the tip of my knife up under here mm -hmm. and I'm pushing up against these bones. You can actually see my knife under there if you look real close. Oh, yeah. And then I'm just gonna push up and cut out. So come up under them, push up and cut out just like that out to the outside. Take my shears and cut right down the edge here. Now that knife wasn't quite long enough so I still got a little bit to do, but same on this side. Now you will have some little tiny bones um, right on the outside there. So it isn't completely boneless. I'm gonna pick this up like this. Just start filleting it down. Look at that fillet. Looks so good. That took me far longer than it does to do a regular size flounder. <laughs> but just to show you what we took out of there was these bones. So this would the skeleton would be in there. We removed that Thank so we can put our stuffing in here. Look how thick that is. And it, it's just a big delicious piece of flounder. And when you guys, when you stick your fork in it or knife in it, you can sit and dig in and you don't got a bunch of bones in there right here. So it's gonna be delicious. That's gonna be Whew. Amazing. So we're gonna use a crab butter. Whoa! We're gonna, use, we're gonna use crab cake mix. But I'm gonna kick it up a little bit. Got some diced onions, some diced mushrooms, and some diced green peppers. Whoever diced those did it a it was amazing. Job. It was, you know, probably the best dice job I've ever seen her do. Because usually she's a little chunky. I mean, I not was... like chunky, but like <laughs> big, big chunks. I just knew that it was gonna be going into my flounder. So living with me is kind of like to make sure it was done right. Living with me is like living with Gordon Ramsay. If I see you cooking something wrong, I'm gonna let you know. You know so. And then, Somebody tag Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> people have. When I used to make TikToks, people used to tag Gordon Ramsay in my stuff. But it was mostly because they said I was doing it wrong. Oh. Pinch of salt into those veggies will help them release their juices. Pinch of pepper. I need to refill the pepper thing. It's almost empty. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, we're just going to saute that down. Let it get happy and what's going to happen there is as all that liquid cooks out it's going to intensify intensify the flavors intensify it's, it's a new word it's the same as intensify <laughs> just kind of like with style <laughs> so that's getting brown right on down i don't really want it brown per se but just cooked all the way down i don't want no crunch i just want the flavor of all that stuff mm. and while I was at it, I was thinking about putting some crackers in there, at least for a topping. There's Rick's crackers. Is there where are they? Oh. Literally right in front of your face. <laughs> I was man looking. Oh. 
If it was a snake, it would have bit ya. <laughs> I've right. got jokes. You know how we smash these up? A hammer. <laughs> Look, Look at that room. thing. He don't even fit in the pan. I think it's like the same size as the one on the wall. I think the one on the wall is a 24, so yeah. Right there. They look the same. I got that for you thinking that you would eventually get one that big. I don't think that's true. I think you got it for you. What you looking at? He's, Food. <laughs> he's oh, you're getting here. hungry, huh? He's back for dinner. Hungry. Hungry. So all those crabs that we pulled. We saved you guys look, some to crack Now yourself. it's here. We and got the stone there's crab. four over there. <gasps> no, we ate all the right. stone crab. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh. But these are for you guys if you want to crack them yourselves and eat them. And if you don't, I don't think that's how you do it. It's not. That's not either. I know. We have this big old gigantic flounder. It's so big that when I'm you hold it like that. Deboned. It's, it's basically like a flounder hot pocket now. And this is the biggest bacon dish we got. I think that it's bigger than the one on the wall. So I've, I've <laughs> lined it with parchment paper. And we're just gonna eat right out of this family style. I'm gonna open this thing up. We're just gonna season the inside of mm. the flounder with some Old Bay. Delicious. Like this. All right, so we got claw meat and we got the lump, right? So that, it was like, it was 28 crabs that we had. We saved four out for Liam and Bianca because they wanted to eat some of their own cracked. Um, so that was 24 crabs picked by us, and it took us probably an hour. Uh, we have Old Bay crab cake mix. This stuff is amazing. I've tried to make crab cakes on my own. This stuff just makes good crab cakes. So I'm gonna do one packet of that. Then I got a half a packet that was just in there, and I figured why not do that then i've got that onion pepper and mushroom mixture that was cooling off in my freezer we'll go in with that like so and then it calls for a half a cup of mayonnaise. I'm just gonna measure by eyeball. <laughs> well, a half a cup of mayonnaise per like crab cake package mix, which is one pound of crab meat. And I bet we had a little over a pound right there. Of course, you know Duke's mayonnaise is the only thing I'm cooking with. Not sponsored. No, not sponsored yet, Dukes. Give hit me a us, call. Hit us up. Been giving you a lot of freebies here. <laughs> We're going to start using helmets. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, more mayonnaise, the better. Then I did have some crushed up um, Ritz crackers. All their buttery goodness. Mm -hmm. Might as well just put some of those in there, too. Like that, about that much. And, and we're just gonna fold all this together. Just fold it in. And try not to like go real hard because you leave your you wanna leave your pieces of crab kinda whole. Like the lumps lumpy. I think the term is fold it. You wanna yeah, fold, fold it? Fold it in. All right, I think we're just about there with that. That looks amazing and it's all cooked, so I'm actually just gonna. Of course you are. Mm, that's amazing. I could just sit down and eat this bowl. So, 
gonna move oh, our flounder over here and go ahead and whoop. Plop it in. Look how amazing that looks. It does look amazing. Wow. I'm not gonna lie. And make sure we get to be stuffing from the tail all the way on up like that. Wow. This is probably gonna be the coolest flounder thing I've ever made in my life. <laughs> the coolest. Just like that. All right. Keep rolling. So then all you do is just fold oh. your. Now oh, I really need a picture. Fold your meat back over like that. And I think I'm gonna, this is like just a little bit of melted butter mm -hmm. and drizzle that all over the skin and everything on the inside there. Get it all, I bet that cheek meat, I'm so excited to eat the cheek meat on this thing. Mm -hmm. So do that. Then we're gonna come back with, the rest. with our Ritz crumbles. Delicious. Get that down in there like that this thing's probably gonna take i don't know 20 minutes at least the, 25 minutes the fillets are i want to do, do it thick. all just oops <laughs> okay one last thing there's more yep one last thing because i want to put it I've done these before where when it started cooking. Oh yeah. It wanted to pop open on me. Oh man. So you're gonna toothpick it. Toothpick him down. Yeah. Don't forget they're in there when we go to eat it. No. But I just, you know, I want it to stay closed. Amazing. People have been bugging me like, why don't you stuff your flounder? Why don't you stuff your flounder? We and we actually do a lot. <laughs> but, you know, we've I think we, we've done a stuffed flounder before, but not of this magnitude. No, not with the doormat. Look at that. It's beautiful. Going in the oven. 400? Convection bake, 400. For, I don't know. start with 20. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably, well, I'll start with 15. Okay. <sighs> the skin curled up a little bit, but it's still gonna be delicious. <clears throat> One more minute. Now, my mom did make us some delicious pork chops and cream spinach, roasted potatoes and green beans. Um, that she was bringing over for Sunday dinner anyway. She also made a lemon loaf. Mm. Looks delicious. I'm excited for that. So we're having all that plus the crab <laughs> stuff flounder. So much leftover food. Yeah. But Sunday family dinner at the Tug Trash household. <laughs> Liam says he'll take some home. <laughs> <laughs> Bet. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I got foggy. Hold on. <laughs> Oh yeah. Look at that bad boy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take it over here and just set it on the table. I'm gonna close the oven so no one gets burned. I think that everything's done. It just, see how it wanted to lay open on me? I should have stuck it, pinned it down a little bit better, but hey, no cheating. All right, dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the talent of the people that get the crab, the talent of people that get the the uh, the fish, and for all of the vegetables and meat that we have, amen. 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 That was perfect. All right, all right, take a bite. Take a bite. Take try. a bite. Mm. I mean, I'm gonna turn this one on too. Like, I need a close-up video. Get you a bite loaded up. I can load up my own bite. What do you think, B? B's going for a bite. He's going for a big Here, bite. Here, you want this too. bite? Mm -mm. You got it. Let's do B's. B's Whoa, bite. that was a huge bite. That was, that was like this the is, good, it's good chunk of the filet. Liam, get you a bite. Family style. Everyone's just eating right off the uh, 
Loom. Now there might fit. now just so you know there might be some bones still on the one side. So just be prepared. What do you think? Is it hot? It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. You Ma, you want some? Turn. You don't like crab though, do you, Mom? I know, but I, I like the fish part. Well, that's what I was going to say. I'll get you a piece of fish no, without crab right. on it. No, that's all right. That's all right. Film that oh, stuff. here we go. Mm -hmm. We need a camera person for all these dinners. So everybody's starving because they've been on the boat all day. I know. What it's do you got over there, Liam? Crabby. Crab? Yep. You're going to pick that one yourself? Yep. I'm do you know, do you know how to do that? Um, uh, you grab <laughs> a little tail flap thingy. Yep. A little bit. So, I... Purposely, usually I would cut the head off. I said that before. This right here is why I didn't. The cheek meat of the flounder right there. I want to try a little piece of that. Usually they're not that big. Mm. Good. Always good. You want to try a piece? Yeah, I can get it myself. Okay. Oh, B didn't want some, and then she just flew in for a piece. <laughs> get a little bit of that crab stuffing. This was a tug trash weekend. This is the kind of stuff we do every weekend. I'm still <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kind of stuff we do every weekend. And we hope you guys enjoyed riding along. We appreciate all your positive comments and feedback. And we'll mm -hmm. see you on the next one.